The viewers have spoken and you guys select the fragrance that I'm going to be talking about today, which is great because it's going to bring back some nostalgia ah, that I so desperately need. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can crack open Versace Blue Jeans. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. And we're going to start off the video on a different note. More therapeutic, more positive vibes and positive energy. The internet is flooded with negativity and people who are so angry in life or just disappointed in their lack of achievements that they decide to really shit on other people on their grind. So to my supporters, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Trust me, your good energy is flowing this way. We block out the negativity. We don't feed negativity. We let them starve. So today we're going to be smelling a fragrance. It has to be at least over 15 years that I haven't smelled this fragrance. I have vivid memories of those times, but I don't remember the scent profile right now until I smell it. The beautiful thing is that that nose and that muscle memory really starts to kick in and coincide and will bring back that, that feeling, that sensation. And I hope it really does that, but it usually does. And the fragrance you guys selected in the comments, well, the most comment on would be Versace Blue Jeans. I bought Versace blue jeans at a little cellular phone spot on, it was 181st Street and St. Nick, if I'm not mistaken. It was by the one, what was then the one and nine train. The dude had it, he, he was known as like one of the fragrance dudes. Like he always had all the stashes of fragrances. Don't ask me where he got them, but he was definitely the plug for official tissue shit. And even then, this wasn't that expensive. I believe it was like in the $30 range or something like that. Even back then, came obviously same presentation. The fragrance did phenomenally well, and I had it for a long ass time. But right now, at this moment, I don't remember the scent profile nor how it smells, but we're gonna revisit that and hopefully it just sparks some beautiful memories. So it comes in a little can. If you guys have never seen Versace uh, blue jeans, it looks like a little fucking, you know, old Western type shit. I don't know what the motif behind this, to be honest with you, is. It's a very, very different. I've never seen another can that really had that kind of artsy farty old Western, but it's Versace. So I don't know. There has to be some backstory on it, but that would take a lot for me to explain or research, and we don't do all that. So here's the actual bottle and presentation of Versace blue jeans. It's got the Versace Medusa right on top. And a very interesting bottle. Looks like a kind of old school mini Coke bottle or something. Not like cocaine, like Coca-Cola. All right, so I don't know the notes of the fragrance. We will look them up as well, but let's just get the snorts going, all right? Wow, it's, I'm, I'm excited and nervous. I don't know, I hope I still like it. It's been so long, but let's see. Versace Bloom Jeans. Wow, dude, this is still fly, dude. Look at the stupid grin on my face. Oh my God. Yo, it's been so long. And let me tell you, this shit still slaps. I don't know, fam, this joint still hits. Wow, that citrusy opening is insane. It smells a little bit like a sour orange and some bergamot kind of vibes. Wow. Oh my God, man. This is, oh my God, man, yo. It's so good to smell. And I know how stupid that sounds, but it's so good to have scent. And we're fortunate and blessed to have scent. Like, the memories that start to come back and like these old school basement parties that I used to throw as a kid where it was like so much fun, man. We had bookshelf speakers. I used to bring down my turntables because I was the DJ slash MC and all these little young girls from the hood would come and they would bring their like four time older drug dealer boyfriends with their gang members and shit. Everybody was sneaking in either a mini bottle of Alizé, a little Henny. Somebody would bring in a little Rem. Like, wow, man, just sneaking into the local bar and lounge with the heavy fake IDs because you knew the security dude at the door. 
Let's look up the notes. Wow. Wow, there's a lot of notes on this fragrance. I didn't not I've never looked them up. So we're looking at citruses, as it starts, bergamot, juniper, anise, Brazilian rosewood, and basil, followed by lavender, rose, carnation, heliotrope, jasmine, geranium, sage, fir, lily of the valley. Damn. Vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, iris, musk, amber, vetiver, cedar, and patchouli. That's a lot of fucking notes, but yo, this, this still slaps, my guy. I'm not gonna hold you, like, I'm trying to see if I can compare it with something else in my stash, but I can't. The anise and sour bitterness on the opening really pops up for my skin now. I can, I get the rosewood element and I get a dirty little bit of rose popping up on the opening off of my skin, which is a little weird. I, I'm sure it's not gonna stay that way. It's a little bit weird. It doesn't smell identical to what it does on the paper, but it's still a vibe. Yeah, that dirty rose is winding down a little bit. Not truly fast, but it's it's going down. The citruses are super prevalent. You do get that I receive vanilla Tonka vibe, like really nicely. This is a fucking nice fragrance. Man, I no wonder I like this shit. I'm so happy I bought this like randomly. It's really good. I don't think this is bad at all. This is summertime vibes for real, although it can easily be worn on a spring vibes. This is good, man. Yo, this is, how much did I pay for this bullshit? For a fragrance that you can shop around and damn near get for close to $10. What is it gonna be like 14 to 20 bucks or something along that space? If you really shop it around, this is a no brainer. This might be one of the craziest bangers for the price that I've smelled in a long time. Like, think about it. This smells really nicely off of my skin. I'm really enjoying this. Not just for nostalgic purposes, because the shit smells good. And to know that you can shop it around and maybe even secondary, I don't know, maybe go on eBay or whatever, like 10, 12, 4, under 20 bucks. This, this is going to be a problem. This is a sleeper for sure. I didn't shop this shit around. I did the haul from Max Aroma or whatever. You know, I rock with them heavy. So I was just going on the website, seeing what they dropped, new releases. So I just went crazy on the website, but you can probably get it cheaper. I don't know. Shop it around. There, there's no way you're going to pay a lot of bread for this. And this is a lot of bang for the buck. Absolutely a ball sprayer. Fucking great. Happy I bought this shit. This was a good look for me. Yeah, man. This shit still slaps, kid. Damn. I actually want to keep. I usually throw away the majority of the boxes. I want to keep this, man. This just brings back great memories. Again, this is an actual good fragrance for me, my opinion, not just for nostalgia purposes. It just smells fucking good. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know what you think of Versace Blue Jeans. Is it too juvenile for you? Are you already over past that time? Or have you not revisited like me in 20 plus years or whatever and really want to revisit it? Let me know. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what it is? Biggest in the game. Smooches. Who's best? Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who by? For the fly gun, hold a money folder. On the roll a star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way. This nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.